Hello, SPFHS. I'm Jeremy Lennart. I'm Adam Wiener. And welcome to the Winter Sports Report. Kicking it off today, we have Aaron Shack with Boys Basketball. Hey, Aaron. Hey, Jeremy. So, how, what do the boys look to do this year? Uh, the boys basketball team is looking to make uh, some big moves this year. They have a lot of returners, and uh, I have high expectations for them. Yeah, it's great. I heard they had a pretty strong returning uh, class. Yeah, that is, that is true. Uh, their senior class uh, is very heavy this year. They have a lot of uh, players who have gotten a lot of time over the past couple of years. Uh, some key players they look to make a big in impact this year is uh, Lamont Cruz, good friend of mine. Tommy Jubilis, I've seen him in the weight room. He's been doing a lot of work there. Uh, definitely got bigger uh, since last year, so him too. Jack Brady, uh, ha haven't been doing much talking with him. I don't think he talks to anyone, but I think he is going to do well. Um, and one key uh, player is Cooper Heisey they're missing this year. He didn't return. Uh, not really sure why. I think he's pursuing another sport. But uh, best of luck to him. But I think the basketball team is going to be a team to watch this year. Yeah, it's great. It's, it's always nice to see that offseason work put in. Absolutely. Um, how did they do in the preseason so far? Uh, they finished their preseason 3-1. and one. Pretty good record. Uh, I think they're going to be doing even better regular season. First game, Friday night against Colonia on the road. Uh, I must add that they have some new jerseys this year, uh, a little retro style looking. I'm a big fan myself, uh, so I l I'm looking forward to seeing those jerseys in action. Awesome. Thank you, Aaron. My pleasure. Up next, we have the hockey team with Cooper Heisey. What's going on, Coop? Hey, what's going on? So, Coop, I'm aware that the hockey team has beat Governor Livingston and they're off to a great start. Um, have they done anything to improve their game since last year? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um They've they've really built up a big team chemistry. Uh, last year they were playing as individuals. A couple of the uh, players in the team reported back to me, but now they're playing as a cohesive group and uh, uh, passing the puck around, and that's what's got them off to this hot start thus far in 2017. What do you think their strengths and weaknesses are? I think their strengths this year are in their uh, offense and Will White and Jack White, the uh, the brothers. And their goalkeeping is a lot better this year as well, so that's that's really big for the team. What do you think their final record will be? Well, right now they're four zero and two, and I'm think I don't know how many games they play, but I think that they're going to be uh, twenty five and zero with two ties probably. I like shooting high like you, Coop. Thanks. No problem. Next, we'd like to welcome Jack Lynch, who's going to talk about boys track. How you doing, Jeremy? So boys track, you know, I always see them running around the halls after school, getting their work done. Uh, what, what are some of their goals this year? You know, some of their goals is to uh, take down their competitor, Union Catholic. They've always uh, had a good rivalry. They both have great teams, and uh, I think this year, this might be Scotch Plains' year to uh, take down Union Catholic. Yeah, that's always the goal. Um, who's some starring athletes that are showing through the team? Some star athletes is uh, senior Justin Sanders, and uh, let me tell you, this guy's fast. I play with him on the football team, and he's a fast kid. Uh, he's really excellent on the track, and I think he's going to be a star for the track team this year. So, Jack, any new additions to the track team this year? Why, yes, there is. Uh, just like my friend Aaron Shack was telling before, Cooper Heisey left the basketball team to uh, pursue another sport. Uh, his other sport happens to be sprinting, and he's on the track team now, and he's a really great athlete, and I think he's going to be a good player for, or a good runner for the track team. Yeah, I'm excited to see how he does. Thanks, Jack. Yeah, no problem. Now we have bowling with Sean. What's up, Sean? Hey, Adam. How are you? So, Sean, the bowling team had a great uh, year last year. What do you think they're doing to improve themselves? Um, I think they're just going to work hard on their craft and try their hardest. So, I know... I know they won their counties last year and even qualified for states. Do you think they will do it again this year? Um, they did lose a couple seniors from last year, but um, they have a strong senior team this year, and I think they have a chance. So, Sean, who are the star players this year? Um, senior Mike Bunnell, he's taking a leader role for the squad, and um, David Chango is also taking some responsibility for the team. Uh, junior Jimmy Bagdonis is also stepping up. Good to hear, Sean. Thank you. Up next, we have Justin Walsh with Girls Track. Hey, Jeremy. Hey, Justin. How you doing? Pretty good. So, like the boys, I always see the girls running the halls for winter track. Um, how do they look to do this season? 
You know, after their fall, se- I mean, the track program as a whole has always been one of the strongest teams here at Raider Nation, but uh, following last season, the great success that they had, I know they're looking to succeed this season. Of course. Um, what are some star runners? I mean, senior Maddie Borg definitely took the leadership role this year. Um, she's one of the top runners the track team has, so I think she'll look for great success this year. So what are some of the events that the girls partake in at these track meets? I mean, to mention a few, we have shot put, uh, 55 meter, 400 meter, 200 meter, triple jump, and there's plenty more that came from, but uh, we look forward to that scene at the season. Sorry. And when can we look to see the girls finally uh, get out there and start rolling? I mean, their first meet is this Monday at New York Armory, so look forward to that. And in the future, we have county relays on January 6th, so we can look forward to that. Great. Thank you, Justin. This month's Athlete of the Month goes to Zach Fleischman. Congrats, Zach. We go to Liam Hickey for more on that. All right, I'm Liam Hickey, and I'm here with this month's Male Athlete of the Month, Zachary Fleischman. Zach, how are you, my friend? I'm good. Oh, I'm good. How are you? So, um, you're on the wrestling team, is that correct? Uh, indeed, it is correct. Yes. And you're one of the main captains, right? Um, no, I would not say I'm one of the main captains, but um, so we have a we have a really strong leadership group out of um, returner Sam Westfeld, returner Nick Palazzolo, and returner all seniors Jack Cannon. So of course, so the standout players, as you said, you would say are uh, Nick Palazzolo, Jack Cannon, and Sam Westfeld, who um, um, correct placed second in the state last year for the 182 weight class. Yes, he was actually the male athlete of the month uh, around that time last year. I can imagine, uh, quite quite the honor, and uh, I think he definitely deserves it. But I would say, to tell you the truth, I mean we've been practicing, we've all been putting in a lot of hard work, but there's no standout no standout kids yet because we we haven't had a match. But you should definitely come this Friday at seven o'clock, and then we'll really see where uh, all this hard work pays off. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Uh, I've heard through the grapevine that uh, the legendary coach Mark Fabiano has. Taking a leave of absence due to a uh, injury. Concussion. Uh, practice. Uh, so, who has been uh, filling his shoes since he's been gone? Yes. Um, I mean, we are definitely looking to go through our preseason with Fabs as our coach. But um, Coach Scholes came over from New Providence this year. He's really became our fierce leader of the team, really, really leading us to a successful beginning of the season so far. And. We're just honestly all enjoying this wrestling season as uh, as we go through it day by day because, I mean, come on. How lucky are we to have the opportunity to wrestle, so. <laughs> That's all. Uh, this is, uh, you've heard it here first. This is Zach Fleisch my Laughing of the Month, and um, Liam Hickey, thank you. Thank you. Back to the studio. Now we go to New York sports. So, Jeremy, um, first on the Yankees, what do you think about Giancarlo Stanton joining New York? You know, I think it's great for the Yankees. They had an amazing run this past season, which was unexpected, and I think adding this new player to the team will only help them go even farther this year. Yeah, you know, to start with, Aaron Judge and Castro, people who just constantly hit home runs, and now we have the leading home run hitter. It's just going to look great out there. Of course, definitely. And for the Giants, um, our head coach McAdoo got fired, and Reese even got fired, so... We're cleaning it up. We're getting new players. It could look good next year. What do you think? Yeah, clean slate. But you know, what? I like to get in and talk about the Devils, the New Jersey Devils. You know, they came in. They came in really hot this season, and I had great expectations. But it seems as the season progresses on, they seem to just fall apart. Yeah, you know, I really don't follow hockey, but um, I hope all the best for the Devils. And you know, yeah, me too. I always just think the Rangers are the ones that everyone cares about, but the Devils are a team too. They are. You gotta respect it. You know, from New Jersey. Yes. Lastly, Cooper Heisey hit the halls to find out what students think on the matter of the college playoffs turning into eight teams for football. I'm here with a good friend of mine, Tommy Drew, who's a big fan of college football. So, do you think the college football playoffs should be expanded to eight or more teams? Oh, absolutely. It should be expanded to eight teams. I think all the winners of the Power Five conferences should be in. I also think undefeated teams should be in, such as UCF. They got hoax. They're better than Bama. Clearly, right. they're 12 and 0. All right, so you got Bama, Georgia, Clemson, and Oklahoma. Who's gonna take it home this year? I got the winner of Oklahoma, Georgia, and I think Oklahoma, Oklahoma Excuse might win. You. Yes, you with the sweatshirt. Um, we're gonna ask, uh, who do you think's gonna win the college football playoff this year? Baylor. Wait, wait, can I? Just- <laughs> 
Uh, Baylor's actually the worst team in the uh, in the Big 12. They're one in ten. So, uh, you you want to change your mind or no? No. Okay. Well, if I were to be honest with you, I don't think they have a very high chance. Slim to none. Looking more like none. All right. Well, we're here with Matt Drubus. Uh Matt, who do you think is going to win the college football playoff? Uh, As he looks it up on his phone, because he doesn't know who's. I in think it. Alabama. I mean, they're a tough team. They that should win like it all. You don't think Oklahoma can can beat them? No. Why? Because Alabama's coach is great. What's his name? It's not good. No clue. Great. Alabama. Why? Because they're the best <laughs> team in the country. No, they're not. They're number two. Okay, but they're they're just good. They're always good. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna have to go with Clemson with a repeat. That's bold. Could you give me a reason why? Um, coming off a win, coming off of last year's win, uh, not much competition. I feel like Baker Mayfield after the Heisman, it's gonna be up there. He's gonna be feeling confident. Over on a high horse. That is overconfident. Throw some picks. Uh, I'm saying Georgia, Clemson in the finals, 35-28, Clemson. I, listen, I, I don't understand where you're getting the score from, but sounds right to me. Sounds right. Do you think that the college football playoff should be four or eight teams or more? Uh, more. More? Why do you, why do you say that? Uh, because the more the better. It makes it I agree with you. Thank you. Yes, they do. They should. Why? Because um, we need faster. Get we need to get through it faster. What? We need to get through it faster. Get through what faster? The games. Um, how does adding four teams make it go quicker? Oh wait, you said add? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> it will make it slower. Oh, we should we shouldn't do that. We should. Okay, add thanks. What? No, no, I I don't. What? No, not even. Repeat the question. Repeat the question. Do you think the college football playoff should have eight teams? Oh no 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 I don't I don't I think it should stick to four. Really? So your favorite team can't get in? Oh wait, actually, no, 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 because yeah, yeah. Miami's sick, so yeah, eight teams for sure. All right, thank you. Thank you, everybody, for watching. I'm Jeremy Lenart. I'm Adam Weiner. And catch us next week at the holiday special.